January 10th, 2019, at 2.08 2 p.m., a 911 operator in Panola County, Texas, received a panicked call from a woman identifying herself as Lauren Colvin Thompson. Frantic, the woman tells the operator that she is in a wooded area, being followed by an unknown person. Authorities were able to trace pings from Lauren's phone and quickly found her car stuck in a ditch. However, Lauren Thompson was nowhere to be found. I'm Allie, and this is True Crime from My Couch. Lauren Elizabeth Thompson was born to Greg and Tori Colvin on April 19, 1986. She grew up in Palestine, Texas, and graduated from Palestine High School in 2004. Lauren met and married Jeffrey Thompson, and together they had three children, Mia, Landon, and Brooklyn. Lauren worked as a CNA and was described by loved ones as a loving mother and dependable friend. And although Lauren did suffer from a substance abuse issue, her family does not believe that that has anything to do with her disappearance. In February of 2018, Lauren filed for divorce from Jeffrey. When Jeffrey didn't show up to their court date in May of 2018, the judge ordered the case to be rescheduled. At 1.58 p.m. on January 10, 2019, Tori Colvin received a call from her daughter Lauren. Tori told authorities that Lauren sounded frantic, hysterically asking to speak to her children. When Tori told Lauren that the children were at school, she said that Lauren sounded panicked and told her mother to tell the children that she loved them. On the phone call, Lauren also asked to speak with her father, again asking her mother to tell him that she loved him and that she was sorry. She also told her mother that if she can get out of the situation she's in, she will never do drugs again. Lauren disconnects from the call, leaving her mother confused and concerned. A few minutes later, at 2.08 p.m., Lauren made a call to 911. This call has not been released to the public. However, we do know that in the call, Lauren identifies herself as Lauren Colvin Thompson, stating that she is in a wooded area and that she is being followed by someone. The 911 operator said that she sounded frantic, as well as disoriented and confused, and that it sounded as though Lauren was running. Lauren told the 911 operator that she was in her car, but that she had left the vehicle and was now in the woods. There are differing reports as to what happened to Lauren's car. Some reports say that the car got stuck in the mud. Some say it was stuck in a ditch, while others say that it ran out of gas. Although we have contradicting reports as to what happened to the car, we do know one thing, that Lauren left the car and was not seen again. Authorities were able to locate the car using pings from Lauren's phone. They found her vehicle on Farm to Market Road, 1794, just west of the Rock Hill community. Lauren was still connected to the 911 operator when authorities arrived at her car, but there was no sight of her anywhere. The 911 call lasted over 20 minutes, but eventually Lauren's phone battery died and the call was disconnected. It was discovered that Lauren had not been alone in the car when it went off the road. A friend of Lauren said that they had been fishing in the area that day and were headed home when they ran off the road. He alleged that he told Lauren that they were near his house so he would walk home to get his car and some chains to be able to pull her car out of the ditch. He went on to tell investigators that at that point Lauren ran into the woods. He said when he got back, Lauren was gone. As the search for Lauren began, investigators discovered that the area was extremely flooded, almost to the point that it was unsearchable. During the search, however, almost as if by a miracle, a shoe was found, and it is later verified to be Lauren's shoe. The Texas Rangers, members of DPS, Texas Parks and Wildlife, Texas Forest Service, and the Panola County Sheriff's Office all joined in the search for Lauren. Altogether, they searched over 2,000 acres of land and covered over 8,000 acres of air search, including drones and helicopters. In early 2019, police had no leads, and they said that they had no reason to believe any foul play was involved. Later in 2019, law enforcement released a statement saying they had evidence to suggest Lauren might have been run off the road. 
they released that they had found paint transfers on two cars, one of those being Lauren's. Authorities also released that they now have a person of interest in the case. Investigators did not release names of any people. However, rumors in the town started swirling. One of the rumors is that the friend Lauren was with the day she went missing, the person that she went fishing with, had paint transfers on his car. Another rumor was that this person might have been related to someone in law enforcement. Neither of these rumors were ever confirmed. In September 2019, Lauren's mother, Tori, wrote a letter describing what she had been going through since Lauren's disappearance. In the letter, Tori states that she thinks the investigation is compromised and that law enforcement was not doing everything they could to find Lauren. Tori wonders in her letter how the vehicle could have gotten stuck in the mud, seeing that Lauren's vehicle was a 4x4. She also mentions that when she received Lauren's vehicle back after investigators searched it, the car had no mud on it. The family believed that the car and the shoe might have been staged because the car had no mud on it, but also because the shoe had no mud on it. How could a car or a shoe have been stuck in the mud but been clean? Lauren's family also alleges there is evidence that has not been properly looked into by authorities. Someone told Tori that they had found a blanket with blood spatter on it. However, authorities alleged that they had never received the blanket. The Colvins were allowed to listen to the 911 call, and in it, they claim Lauren says she is being shot at and that she was running fast. Tori said to CBS 19, At the end of the call, it was almost like someone had startled her. It was like, gasp, and then her phone was dead. In July 2022, skeletal remains discovered by a crew working in a wooded area were confirmed to belong to Lauren Thompson. Sheriff Cutter Clinton said dental records were used to identify the missing mother of three. Police have not released a cause of death, but did say that the remains appeared to have been in the area for some time. They also revealed that there was no obvious signs of criminal activity near where her body was found. Investigators received help from the Texas Rangers Division and forensic anthropologists from the Center for Human Identification at the University of North Texas Health Center at Fort Worth. Clinton said, quote, Our office will be diligent on pursuing all relevant investigative leads. He also noted that the case is now a death investigation. In January 2023, authorities returned to search the location where Lauren's body was found. Panola County Sheriff Cutter Clinton said, Additional items have been located today and collected as evidence and will be submitted to the crime lab for further analysis. Lauren's case is a frustrating one all around. From not being able to hear the 911 call to not knowing the names of many players involved, it makes it hard to be able to come up with any knowledgeable theories. As far as I know, Lauren's husband Jeffrey is not a person of interest. He was not involved in her life and hadn't even showed up to their divorce hearing. I would be very interested to hear more about the person Lauren was with the day of her disappearance and who happened to be the last known person to see Lauren alive. Additionally, in a Facebook comment on the page, Bring Lauren Thompson Home, Lauren's family said that she had just gotten out of a bad relationship and that this person had been threatening her. They mentioned that authorities had been alerted to this information. Lauren's family has received custody of her three children and have not given up hope to find justice for Lauren. Her father, Greg, said, I've gained a lot of strength from Lauren as far as worry. She told me one time, Dad, you know, don't worry about me because I'm okay. If you have any information about the death of Lauren Thompson, I will leave all of the contact information below. No detail is too big or too small. Please send any information that you have available. Thank you so much for listening to True Crime from My Couch. I'm Allie, and I hope that you have a wonderful day. Bye.